Today we're working on planning for slab building. My first ideas came from the internet. These are going to inspire my design. Right now what I'm starting to do is plan out what I want my fairy house or my slab project to look like. I do need to know what the front and the side and the back is going to look like. The purpose of doing this demonstration is to show that you are going to create a drawing that represents what that front and the side at least, what those two are going to look like. So if I look here, I notice right from the beginning, from the front side, I can see that I am going to be making a shape for that roof that's gonna go on two sides. So I know right here I need two roof lines. And then I'm also looking at the front of the house. I need one of the front and one of the back. Okay, I'm just looking at my front view right now. On there, that's kind of telling me, okay, how many stencils am I gonna be making? And that's going to be an important part of the design process when it comes to slab building. On the side view, I also have created two more roof lines. So I have one right here, two, and then on the other side is two more. So I will have a total of four mini roof lines. And then I also need side one and side two. Okay, so now I'm looking at how many stencils do I need to make for my fairy house? Two roof lines, one front, one back, one side, two second side, and then four mini roof lines. So all together I have six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. 11 stencils. Okay, I may have counted wrong. I'm not sure, but I'll get back to that. Oh, that's right. That's what I need. I need 10 stencils. Okay, now I'm ready to move on. This is where you're going to have a regular clean piece of paper. That clean piece of paper is going to be used to create your stencils. This is where you use a ruler. So if I am working right on my stencils and I am free drawing like this, oh, this is going to be side one. How do you feel like your grade is going to look or much more important, how is your house going to look? That's important to know. I just remembered something else to tell you. Stencils. I forgot about the base. So I'm going to put that on there. I do need a total of 11 stencils. One is going to be the base or the bottom. When you get to making your stencils, you must use a ruler and actually measure things out. Why would I ask you to do that? Well, if you're just going to free draw the lines like this, that's really not gonna turn out so nice. I've been, a, I've been a teacher for a while and I've seen a lot of different students do different things. <clears throat> I see students who make stencils that look like this, imperfect and not measured out. And their design does not turn out so good. So already this person, if I don't measure, has set themselves up for not doing you know, their best work, right from the very beginning in the planning process. So I want you to keep that in mind and use a ruler or at least a flat edge to help you make perfect straight lines.